How cute is a simple little wrap around a beautiful little heart-shaped crystal? We're gonna make one of these today. It's the same on each side with a triangle shaped design there. So this is our crystal that we've got today. It's a four centimeter in height and width, and it's about one centimeter in depth. So this is our 0.8 millimeter cotton twine. To start out with, we need one length of 20 inches and one length of 40 inches. I just start out by measuring these lengths out and then we need to find the middles. Just placing the ends together and following it to the other end to find the middle of the short and longer piece. And then we're going to pop the middles together. So just placing the middles together and then we're going to tie a wee knot there and pull that nice and tight. Then we are going to make our second knot. Our crystal is a four centimeter across crystal with a one centimeter depth. So we need to tie our knots here about 3.5 centimeters apart so that the hole there is going to be smaller than your crystal because this is what's going to hold the base of your crystal in place. Just holding it up against your ruler there, you want to make sure that your knot there is not bigger than the crystal. So it does need to be measured. So I just hold it up against the ruler there and make sure my knot comes down and I can pull it tight about the 3.5 centimeter mark. Just making sure both pieces of twine are pulled nice and tight. So just double checking that and you can see it's right on the 3.5 centimeter mark. At this point I like to grab a little bit of tape where I can just tape the twine onto the crystal and that's going to hold it in place while I just do the rest of the wrap. It's a little bit easier having it secured on there. So just placing the crystal inside the little wrap that you've started to make. It's just going to sit with one knot on each edge of the crystal on each side there. So it's really important that that hole in the middle between the two knots is not too big. Then I just secure on this part that goes across the crystal there. That sort of holds it in place so that I can do the rest of the wrap. Now I just work with these pieces of twine coming up and we're going to start to form the little triangle part that sits on the front and the back of the crystal. So out of the knot on each side, just pulling one piece up the front side and one piece up the back side. So you can start to see how it's going to sit there with those strands of twine coming up and meeting at the top of the heart, a little indent there. Just holding those pieces up how it's going to sit, we're going to work with opposite strands. Here I've got the left hand strand on the back and the right hand strand on the front. So I'm just going to bring those two together and start by tying a little knot in those two pieces. And this is going to start to secure the crystal inside the wrap. So just trying to make sure that those knots are quite tight there. A simple knot is fine, left over right and then right over left. So just pulling that first knot tight and then we can pull the second knot tight down onto it as well. And then we've got the other two strands. So we've got the front left strand and the back right strand. So we're going to tie those in a knot as well. I 
I like to just loop it under that first knot that we've tied already. I just find that that keeps it a little bit more secure. So just poking that under the knot. And then with the back piece, I just thread that under the knot as well. And then I can tie those strands in a knot as well. So same deal as the first knot, left over right and then right over left. Now with these strands here, we just can pull them all out and with one of the strands, we're just going to wrap them around the other knots. So just wrapping it around three or four times and making sure it's wrapped nice and tight. And then just with one of the other strands that's sort of on the side there, we can tie that onto the strand that you've wrapped around. So just tying that on with a knot. just making sure it's really nice and tight. This is going to secure the whole crystal in place. Then you should be left with two nice long strands and two shorter strands. These shorter strands we're just going to snip off and then singe them with a the lighter just to make sure they are nice and secure. Now we can take our little bits of tape off. Our crystal should be nice and secure in the netting that you've made. Should have no movement and be sitting there nice and secure, ready to wear as a pendant. Just pop a little knot on the end of your strands there or an adjustable sliding knot if you like. And then your pendant is ready to wear or hang. So these bits need to be tight enough that they can't fit over any parts of the crystal. So if you're happy and it's all secure, then you can wear your crystal without risking it falling out anywhere.